Pastor Tunde Bakare is arguably one of the most outspoken Christian clerics when it comes to social, political and economic issues. His address on the state of the nation is premised on his belief that governance under the new administration is not going in the right direction. First, Pastor Bakare laments the effects of the removal of fuel subsidy on Nigerians. Mr. President, even though you have announced some palliatives, let me remind you that palliatives cannot address the root cause of the problem. Therefore, we demand that you address the root cause of the problem. Take the yoke off the neck of the poor, go after the looters, recover the loot, and retool it to the benefit of Nigerians. In simple terms, Mr. President, kill corruption, non Nigerians. In the aftermath of the recent coup d'etat in Niger, the clergyman faults President Tinubu for leading the proposed plan of military intervention by ECOWAS, describing it as an evidence of the president's impulsive leadership style. By placing military invasion on the table from the very start, before subsequently exploring diplomatic options with the coup plotters in the Republic of Niger, President Tinubu once again put the car before the horse, thus placing Nigeria and the subregion in a precarious situation. While we condemn the spate of coup d'etats in West Africa, we recognize that the situation calls for deep introspection on the part of African leaders and makes even more urgent the case for good governance. The call upon Nigeria at this time is not to so much to compel submission in the subregion through the force of might, but to command alignment through exemplary governance. The televangelist also questions the manner in which certain cases of alleged corruption are handled, citing the probe of former CBN governor Godwin Emifile and the suspended chairman of the EFCC, Mr. Abdurashid Bawa. Considering the reporter claims by the DSS that his actions were in line with an order from above, the handling of the Mefiele case has sent a signal to the world that the current president's disposition to the war against corruption is primarily motivated by a clampdown on perceived political adversaries while various other enemies of Nigeria remain untouched. The same can be said of the detention of the suspended chairman of the EFCC, Mr. Abdurashid Bawa. Today, Bawa is being held in detention by the DSS, while Belo Matawale, a former governor that Bawa had been investigating, has been nominated by the president as a minister. Once again, if Bawa is indicted in any criminal investigation, then the lawful thing to do is to prosecute him to continue to hold him in detention in these circumstances raises significant concerns about the readiness of the Tinumbu administration to fight corruption. Pastor Tunde Bakare draws the attention of the president to other areas of concern, including the need to intensify the war against corruption in the oil and gas sector, reducing the size of government and the cost of governance.